In this video, I'm going to explain what are the best tie down straps for your side by side and show you the technique I use to strap down our machine. Stick around to the end and I'll show you a pro tip in securing the leftover strap, keeping it from flapping in the wind. Please show your support by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to turn on notifications. What is the best side-by-side -side tie down straps? Well, in my opinion, it's the lasso tie down strap with chain anchors. There was two main reasons why I went with this type of strap. The first was it connects directly to the tire and would fit any tire regardless of size. The direct connection to the tire eliminates the issues of the straps coming loose from the shocks allowing the machine to bounce during transport. These machines are expensive and I wanted to secure it as best as possible so we actually use four points of contact, putting a strap on each tire. Now the second reason was the chain anchors. Over the years, I've had numerous straps getting cut from rubbing against the trailer rail, regardless of it's a deck over, a pipe trailer, or a car hauler. The amount of wind beating the straps take against the connection point of the trailer wears it over time. That is eliminated with the chain anchors. The chain anchors allow you to drop through the C-channel looping back up to the top for the best secure connection. This form of connection has worked both on our deck over gooseneck and our 12 foot pipe trailer. Next, showing you the technique we use. I'm not saying how we tie down the machines is the best and only way to do it. This tie down technique is only my opinion and an explanation of how we do it. So please take it as such. We start off with running the strap through the tire with the non-metal ring side of the strap. Put the metal ring on the sidewall of the tire and loop the other end of the strap through the metal ring pulling it towards the middle of the machine. You want to make sure your strap is not pressing against the valve stem and you have to move the black strap cover to be centered to where the metal ring will meet the pullback point. The black strap cover gives extra protection against wind wear on the strap against the metal ring. The next step is dropping the chain anchors through the C-channel, looping it back up and connect to the top of the C-channel. From our experience, this has given us the most secure connection. Then all that is left to do is connect the strap to the ratchet and begin tightening it down. Once we get the strap halfway tightened, then we move on to the remaining three tires following the same steps. Once we get all four straps on, then we tighten one side until it's all the way tight, and then we repeat the process on the other side, securing the machine to the trailer. In conclusion, with the lasso tie down straps, and chain anchors, you'll have the best tie down straps for any side by side. The pro tip for securing the extra strap is looping it back through the ratchet. Depending on how much is left, I will tuck the leftover strap into the ratchet loop, then fold over the remaining excess strap through the ratchet lever. Once the ratchet lever is closed flat, then that lever will keep the excess strap from flapping in the wind. I hope that helps. Now check out the description for this video for links to all the products we mentioned. Using the links in our description to buy these products helps us to continue to bring you great information like this video. Please show your support by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to turn on notifications. If this video has helped you, then please smash the like button and thank you for watching.